Hey, my name is Laszlo Leber. Welcome to my channel Coaching. In this tutorial, I will show you that how can you use the GitLab's CI CD pipelines to create automatic release processes. Uh, we will create an automatic package uh, releasing uh, pipeline. We have created a React component library in my previous tutorial, so you can find it on my channel. Uh, we will use it as a starting point. I will show you that in uh, real life situations, for uh, what purposes you can use the CI CD as well. Okay, so here you can find the package in the GitLab's package registry, which we have built last time. First, you should check that do you have any runners to use CI CD? You can check it in the settings slash CI CD menu. Please expand the runners and check the available runners here. As you can see, the public GitLabs has available uh, runners, so we will use one of them uh, later. In the pipelines, we will able to use variables. So we store our npm registries deploy token in, the, in a variable here. So please create a variable here and uh, store your token uh, as a value. We use this token to be able to push our package uh, to the registry. So the variables are good because we can store them in our in a, in a secure uh, way, and uh, we can use them in the pipelines without uh, store the values uh, in an unsecure way in the definition files in the pipeline definition files basically. So. Uh, the only thing you you should uh, do to define a pipeline to create a GitLab a CI YML, uh, you should uh, store this file in uh, your root directory of your project. And after we push this branch uh, and it arrives to the remote repository, then the system will check whether it should run uh, the pipeline so we will create a pipeline that will uh, fire uh, if we create a new tag uh, in our repository uh, in a specific branch so uh, it will fire if we create a tag with with release prefix after the release prefix we will set the version number of the new package. So the pipeline will get the version number from the tag. So here we define the stages. You could have multiple stages here. I give a name to it. It is the package release. After that, I define the stage in detail. So it will use node image. Uh, so I set the image here. And I tell that which stage it is uh, with, with the stage property. As I mentioned before, you can use variables. So in the, uh, we will use it in the pipeline definition file. To be more specific, we will use it in the npm rc build file because uh, uh, I will rename this file to the original npmrc file later in with a command and uh, we will able to push, push our package to the registry uh, because uh, the actual pipeline is, we will use this uh, npmrc file later. <coughs> so uh, in the script section I define that what the stage will actually do. The first command is to rename the npmrc file I have mentioned. And in the second command, I will run a, a, a custom JavaScript file. This script is responsible for uh, parse and uh, parse uh, the tag and, and get the version number and set it in the package.json file for the component library. So we, 
depends in the commit tag, which is a global variable presented by the git system. You can find uh, other variables here, by the way. And uh, we read the package.json file and we replace the version number and write it uh, into the file again. Okay, after that, that I run npm ci a command to install the component library's dependencies and run the test finally build command. And after that, I call the npm publish command to release the new package with the given version number uh, coming from the tag. In the rules section of the stage, we can define that we would like to. Uh, run this pipeline if a tag with release prefix is existing. existing. So, in uh, the artifact section, we can define that uh, when we would like to upload the artifact and uh, use expiring to specify how long artifacts are active before they expire and are deleted. You can set it to never or the, the default setting is 30 days. So now I use 30 days as value. And uh, in the text section here, we set the runners tag. You can find here in the list of runners. Okay, now you can see my previous pipelines I have uh, run before, run before, and uh, now create a new tag on uh, your branch with release prefix and give a new version number to it. After that, you can see that the pending pipeline is added to the list here. You can open it, and here you can see that which stage is running at the moment. If you have uh, multiple stages, then a chart will be drawn here. So if I open the stage, here I can see the commands are in progress. If the job is succeeded, you can see it here in the last line or in other menus as well. Here you can see another real life example. Uh, I have mentioned before that I will show you some real life, real life examples. So here you can see another real life example where we have two stages, the test and build. And during the build stage, we build a Docker image and we push it to the Docker hub. Later, we install the application with another automatic tool on the RISE server. Okay, thank you very much for watching. That's all for now today. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will share many interesting videos in the future as well in this channel. So thank you very much again and bye.